Hello everyone. The last session we discussed a problem up to the zero input response. In this next next session we will go for the zero state rest. In this session we will discuss about the zero state response. So what is zero state response first? Zero state response. So here generally in this problem zero input response is given like this. This is the x of e power 8 into x of 0. So what about zero state response? So in this in this generally this is time domain analysis but we have in the state response if you take there we have Laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse into b into 1 by s. So by doing this we will get the zero state response. So that is right here. So zero state response is this first formula for the zero state response is this is the formula. The formula is Laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse into b into 1 by s. Okay. So we know si si minus a whole inverse formula and into b into 1 by s. So we know all these formulas first. So first you should write what is b into 1 by s first. First we need to do what is b into 1 by s. So what is the b value here? So look at the b value. b value is 0 comma 5. So this is the b value. So write down this b value. b value is 0 comma 5 and what about s and it should be multiplied with the 1 by s then what happened this is the 0 and this is the 5 by s this is the 5 by s okay and what about si minus a whole inverse where is si minus a whole inverse so if you observe here this is the si minus a whole inverse this is the si minus a whole inverse so otherwise you can take this is also the si minus a whole inverse just to write down here so i will write the zero state response value is like this so what is si minus a whole inverse i will write here that is that is where is si minus a whole inverse this is s plus 3 by s square plus 3s plus 2 1 by s square plus 3s plus 2 first s plus 3 first only write the numerator terms 1 2 s plus 3 1 2 and 1 minus 2 s yes. 1 this is the minus 2 this is the s and this is the s square plus 3s plus 2 what about this s square plus 3s plus 2 and here also s square plus 3s plus 2 and here also s square plus 3s plus 2 with and we have the other term the term is the term is 0 comma 5 by s is the term and you should apply the Laplace invert to this complete term complete term so when you are doing before doing this just multiply with this this into this term it become 0 what about this this term is there what about this this term is there this is the 0 and what about this and this is 5 by s into s square plus 3s plus 2 this is the other term this is the other term same this term with becomes 0 what about this term this is 5 by s into same s by s square plus 3s plus 2 this is the other term both s's will be cancelled the remaining is so laplace inverse of you will get 5 by s into we can write s plus 1 
and s plus 2 like that what about this this is 5 by again we can write s plus 1 into s plus 2 s plus 1 into s plus 2 so we can do the partial fractions for this so we can do the partial fractions for this how can we do the partial fractions so by doing the partial fractions we will get like this this is laplace inverse of so in that all 5 will be common 5 will be common and this is partial fractions is like this 5 will be common for everything this is 1 by 2 by s yes. first thing what about minus 3 by s plus 1 the second what about next and 3 by 2 3 by 2 by so now 3 by 2 so this is 3 by 5 I think so by doing the so everything uh, put the 5 there and finally you will write this no need to write all these things no need to write the 5 common so directly I am writing we are getting finally partial fractions is like this this is 5 by 2 1 by s is the first and second is and this is 3 by s plus 1 so this is the s sorry this is the s and what about this this is the 3 by 2 s plus 2 s plus 2 this is the first equation what about second second is like this and this is 3 by s what about remaining minus 3 by s plus 2 so if you do if you divide the partial fractions you will get like this so now we will apply the Laplace invert to this what happened when you are applying the Laplace transform what happened 5 by 2 1 by s become here 1 into 1 and minus 3 s plus 1 become e power minus t and this is 3 by 2 will become e power minus 2t okay so 1 is 1 by s minus t s plus 1 e power minus 2t s plus 2 what about this this is 3 into e power minus 1 minus 3 into e power minus 2t e power minus 2t e power minus 2t so this is zero state up to now we are doing for the zero state response of or nothing but we are doing for the finding for the x of t only up to now we are doing for the finding for the x of t only okay yeah so this is directly zero state response not x of t sorry directly we are finding the state response here this is the state response okay mm. and finally we are getting two things this is the second equation this is the second equation zero state response what about first equation first equation is there this is the this is the first equation yes this is the first equation so in order to get the final x of t in order to get the final x of t that means state matrix final state matrix vector is combination of 1 plus 2 1 is 0 input response 2 is 0 state response so we will get finally so if you are combined together we will get this this is the equation the equation is like this uh, final directly I am writing here by combining that elements all the elements you will get 5 by t minus 3 into e power minus t plus 3 by 2 into e power minus 2t this is the first element what about second element this is 3 into e power minus t minus 3 into e power minus 2t this is the second element we are getting x of t but what is our requirement our requirement is to output y of t y of t how can we write the y of t 0 comma 1 into x of t 0 comma 1 into x of t 
so we have here 0 comma 1 is 0 comma 1 what about x of t x of t is like this that is 5 by 2 minus 3 into e power minus t plus 3 by 2 e power minus 2t 3 into e power minus t minus 3 into e power minus 2t so by multiplying this what we will get 0 into this term will become 0 and plus so this is the plus 1 into this term this become third so 3 into e power minus t minus 3 into e power minus 2t so therefore y of t is equals 3 into e power minus t minus 3 into e power minus 2t okay this is the complete response this is the very big problem complete response of the given problem complete response of the given problem okay so whenever the problem is given like this we should follow this process what is the process whenever the unit step input is even that time why i'm using here because unit step input is there so just observe here why i'm using here this is unit step what is actually this is formula not this is the actually u of s since u of s equal to 1 by s directly i am writing 1 by s here then i am finding the modified matrix then i will apply in this i will we will get the zero state response after getting the zero state response you will add with the zero input response then you will get complete response of x of t after that you will find the output equal like this the output value is like this okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you